Hello to all audience. First, greeting and respect to the professor of watching this presentation. My name is Ali Dabari. I've graduated from MEKB University of Technology. Uh, if I want to have a small introduction of my teammates, in that case, I will start with Mr. Murtaza Rezaei. Uh, we have both uh, studied Bachelor's Science in Materials Engineering at MEKB University of Technology, and we have just graduated right now. The other members are Mr. Ali Alipur and Mrs. Kimia Kari, who study in a similar field of materials, engineering, and metallurgy at Sharif University of Technology. Uh, and the last one is Mr. Uh, Hossein Dovey, he's a student of materials uh, engineering and uh, he's studying now uh, at Arok University. Okay. Uh, let's present this uh, lecture if i want to explain this briefly as you know uh, no the metal uh, matrix composites uh, are cost effective and uh, appropriate alternative to steel and iron resources this research investigate the properties of uh, surface uh, composite created by uh, sic nanoparticles uh, with an average particle size of uh, 70 to 75 nanometers and high percentage purity of 99.9 percent uh, we have chosen aluminum uh, alloy 5754 for based metal uh, and fabricated by friction stir processing you can see the schematic of this operation in the figures that i mentioned uh, fsp is a very efficient uh, and cost low method for making a composite surface uh, that consists of a pin and shoulder. A groove with a specific depth, length and width was created in this operation. Nanoparticles with the same density were placed inside the groove. The process was performed with a pin. Uh, the nanoparticles were dispersed in the aluminum matrix by moving the pin. Okay. The result were varied with a change in rotational speed, traversal speed, and the number of passes. In this process, uh, three optimal parameters were obtained, 500 round per minute uh, as a rotational speed, uh, we reached them, uh, and 20 millimeter per minute as a traverse speed and three number of passes. Also, the average micro hardness profile for 17 points and the average grain size of uh, grain size number in the steer zone region as you know for the optimal samples were equal to 68 vickers and 1.5 uh, microns respectively and uh, the results show that increasing the number of passes accord appropriated sic nanoparticles dist distribution uh, with an acceptable micro, micro structure and micro hardness. As you can imagine, during the operations, various mechanisms occurred, such as uh, nucleation during recrystallizations, placement of SIC nanoparticles at the grain boundaries, which prevents grain boundaries migration and inhibition of grain growth. You can see the SEM image of dispersion of nanoparticles uh, that I mention that okay uh, in the number of passes equal to one and three which make this dispersion much more desirable the nanoparticles also get out of the agglomerate mode with an increasing number of passes about the microstructure of the specimens the substrate microstructure with a presence of nanoparticles has become very desirable the optimal grain size uh, parameters have a decreased significantly and the microstructure has become desirable. Uh, you can see uh, this usefulness uh, in this uh, microstructure profile, uh, profile uh, diagram uh, that you can see. Uh, this product has a lot of demand in aerospace, automotive, railway and industries because their production is also cost effective it's the main uh, benefit of uh, this process in this start in this study mm, the aluminum uh, alloy was used as a matrix that researchers have not yet considered 
Uh, also, the properties of manufactured aluminum surface composite with the addition of nanoparticle not investigated until today. Uh, at the end, I need mention some point here. Uh, aluminum alloy 5754 was used for the face first time in the world as a matrix. In the end, I would like to thank the organizer of this event and you, dear ones who paid attention. Thanks a lot.